In our previous video, we discussed about WBCs and the classification of WBCs. Today, we are going to discuss about functions of different WBC cells. Hello students, I am Dr. Faisal and you are watching BioOcean Glasses. Let's get started. In previous video, we classified WBCs into granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes, they were of three types, eosinophils, basophils and neutrophils. A granulocytes they were of two types monocytes and lymphocytes a lymphocytes they were of two types T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes so let's start first with the eosinophils eosinophils they are called eosinophils because they take up eosin stain and eosin is an acidic stain so another name for eosinophils is also acidophils okay they are also known as acidophils they are 2 to 3 percent of differential leukocyte count if we have 100 cells among 100 cells 2 to 3 will be eosinophils they take up acidic stain eosinophils if we see their nucleus their nucleus is bilobed spectacle shaped here we see their nucleus it's bilobed and it's spectacle shaped okay and if we talk about the granules they have coarse red granules the color of the granules it is red and they are bigger granules coarse granules means they are bigger granules we need to remember these two points regarding every cell key what is the shape of the nucleus and what are the types of granules which are present in them in eosinophils bilobed spectacle shaped nucleus coarse brick red granules are present we can see in this diagram we have this spectacle shaped nucleus and we have this coarse brick red color granules which are present in eosinophils if we talk about function of the eosinophils the eosinophils they are have anti parasite action and second important thing they are involved in allergic reactions so anti parasite immunity and allergic reactions that is a function of eosinophils coming to the second cell that is basophil it is called basophil because it takes up the basic stain it takes basic stain which is basically blue in color it is 0.5 to 1 percent of all the wbc's in the blood second the nucleus the nucleus is s-shaped and it is bilobed the nucleus is s-shaped and it is bilobed and if we see the granules we have blue color coarse uh, coarse granules which fill up whole of the cell we have these blue color granules which are scattered all over the cytoplasm and when we see under the microscope we are hardly able to distinguish nucleus from the granules because the granules they fill up all the parts of the cell basophil jo hai uska jo nucleus hai s shaped hota hai aur usme brick uh, sorry blue color ke granules present hote hain what is the function of these basophils the basophils they are very important cells involved in allergy theek hai uh, the basophil cells they contain a lot of histamine they contain serotonin they contain histamine serotonin okay and uh, they are involved in the inflammation what is inflammation inflammation is uh, tissues response to injury jab bhi hame kahin pe chot lagti hai jo swelling hoti hai redness hoti hai all the swelling redness pain they are the symptoms of inflammation and basophils has a very important role in the inflammation as well as the allergy basophils are comparable to the mast cells of the tissue they are similar to mast cells okay of basophil they are similar to the mast cells and they are the least numerous cells of the blood this is the shape of the basophils they're talking about a third type of cell that is neutrophils neutrophils are called neutrophils because they take both acidic as well as the basic stain they are the most numerous cells because they make up 60 to 65 percent of the WBCs. They take up both acidic as well as the basic stain. And talking about their nucleus, their nucleus it is multi-lobed nucleus. This is very important point. Their nucleus it is multi-lobed, and uh, these neutrophils they may have two-lobed nucleus, three-lobed nucleus, four-lobed nucleus, or five-lobed nucleus. If I am going to make a diagram here, like this, if I have neutrophil like this okay its nucleus it will be bilobed it nucleus it will be multi lobe like you will be having one lobe two three four five it will be multi lobed nucleus and you have very fine pink colored granules 
very fine pink color granules because pink is formed by acidic and basic components both two things we need to remember multi lobed nucleus second important thing fine fine pink color granules are present in the cytoplasm another name for neutrophils is polymorpho polymorpho nuclear leukocytes if we see the morphology of the nucleus of the leukocyte of this neutrophil jo neutrophil ka nucleus hai wo stages ke sath sath change hota hai jab ye mature hota hai to isme do lobes hote hain aur jaise jaise mature hota hai to waise waise isme lobes badhte jate hain so if we see polymorpho polymorpho means the nucleus it has variable morphology in the nucleus okay that's why it is known as pmnl polymorpho nuclear leukocyte this is a leukocyte which has multiple morphologies of the nucleus okay the function of the neutrophil it is phagocytic cell this is very important function this is phagocytic cell and it is first to reach the site of infection it has a very important property of phagocytosis it aids up the bacteria it does endocytosis and kills the bacteria with the help of different enzymes which are present in it this is the first cell to reach the site of infection this is neutrophil then we have monocytes the monocytes uh, they are the largest cell of the blood monocyte is the largest cell of the blood it has 18 micrometer diameter this is the largest cell of the blood and its nucleus it is kidney shaped if you see here it's kidney shaped nucleus which is blue in color that cytoplasm if we see it is clear it does not have any kind of granules and this cell it's a larger cell it it has also the function of phagocytosis monocyte it's the largest cell it has a function of phagocytosis see first at the site of infection neutrophil comes but if neutrophil is not able to contain the infection then monocyte comes both have phagocytic action neutrophil as well as monocyte first neutrophil goes then the monocyte goes okay it has 6 to 8% of the wbc count okay one very important thing related to monocyte is uh, when these monocytes they come out of the blood they form macrophages so you have you might have listened this term macrophage jab monocyte ek bar blood vessel se bahar aa gaya by the process of diapetesis then it is known as macrophage and we have different kinds of macrophage like you have you have histiocytes in the skin you have dust cells in alveoli you have microglial cells in brain microglial cells in brain you have something called as osteoclast they are also macrophages you have something called as kaffer cells they are present in the liver so monocytes they go out of the blood and stay in various tissues like i have mentioned different names of these macrophages they are nothing they are the monocytes which have gone out of the blood vessels okay then the last cells we have the lymphocytes they form 20 to 25% their nucleus is round and nucleus uh, occupies most of the part of the cell and cytoplasm is just present in the form of a rim you can see the cytoplasm is present in the form of a rim and these lymphocytes they are of two types you have b lymphocytes and you have t lymphocytes b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes t lymphocytes are involved in cell mediated immunity and b lymphocytes are involved in antibody mediated immunity see our acquired immunity is by the lymphocytes and our immune system it has two way to fight hamara immune system do tarike se ladta hai by forming army of cells or by forming army of proteins called as antibodies so the cells which fight with the foreign antigen they are uh, t cells so they form cell mediated immunity and uh, the b cells they form antibodies and they try to neutralize the foreign toxin this cell mediated immunity which is mediated with the help of t cells it also does two very important functions it is involved in cancer immunity and it is also involved in graft rejection okay so these helper t cells uh, or t lymphocyte they are of different types we have helper t cells cytotoxic t cells we will discuss in the chapter of immunity but here you just remember that lymphocytes 
they have a very important role in adaptive immunity adaptive immunity adaptive immunity is with the help of t lymphocytes so if we summarize all these cells of the blood one by one we have granulocyte like eosinophils they are called eosinophil because they take up acidic stain they are involved in parasite immunity basophils they are blue in color they are involved in allergic reactions neutrophils they are the important phagocytic cells of the blood monocytes largest cell phagocytic lymphocytes they provide us acquired immunity this is related to the classification of the wbcs in our subsequent video we will be discussing about uh, platelets and uh, the clotting systems if you have any doubt regarding the functioning of wbcs you can ask me in the comment box if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching this video